I wanted to show you a quick demonstration of the Yaesu FT5D working in conjunction with a Pi Star hotspot. So it's a MMDVM hotspot running uh, Pi Star um, software. How it all links together and how it should work. Just the basics. I've seen so many YouTubes out there that go into so much depth, it's, it's untrue. Um, but if I show you just the basics, you know whether you got it right or wrong. I struggled in the early days and the reason I struggled and nobody could tell me the answer was because the squelch light was on and it was inhibiting it from transmitting. Once I solved that, no problem. Uh, and it is pretty easy to use. So here's the rundown. So we have the radio talks to the hotspot which is inside here I have a just your traditional two boards the Raspberry Pi and the MMDVM all together and a battery bank in here so that's all that's in here and a cell phone so radio talks to this this talks to through Wi-Fi to the cell phone or to my uh, home Wi-Fi so in this demonstration it will be home Wi-Fi but it does work with the cell phone so I'm going to just put that to, to one side you can see what goes on so I'm going to turn this on so that's now on it takes approximately 70 uh, seconds to boot up the radio is already on and we're going to zoom in and see what happens on the radio the first thing is we'll get like an acknowledgement from the um, hotspot da di da di da twiddle thy thumbs we will of course cut this out from the video so there it is and it flashing on the screen saying fcs slash info my hotspot is uh, configured to connect when it starts up to america link and that's uh, reasonably uh, popular room okay I'm going to switch over to um, the screen now on the computer just to show you the settings that's needed and it's, it's really not very much so we're going to flip over right now to the uh, computer on the web browser you need to go to pi-star.local this works if your hotspot is on the same network as your uh, computer. So pi hyphen star dot local. And we should see the familiar orangey screen. There we go. Salmon coloured, I don't know. So there's my dashboard for the little white box that I showed you which is running at the moment and there's the call signs that have come through since we've turned that on okay so let's just uh, run down all that you need in Pi Star. so if we go into the configuration tab uh, the username is pi-star and the password is raspberry you can get that info from about anywhere so it gives you some basic information about it the first thing is if you want to test it without getting interfered with by DMR or any other modes so you want like uh, unique access just have this slider on YSF mode Yaesu System Fusion all the other sliders off you must have your call sign in here and your CCS7 ID to be able to get onto the system this way and then down here in the Yaesu system configuration all you need is that uh, little slider there which I think comes preset like that I've looked to try and find what YSX pass through is but in all the other research I've done nobody has it turned on so I've not got it turned on either and there it is so just in the Wi-Fi um, section here that just connects 
the Wi-Fi from my white box to my home internet or the white box to my cell phone which is tethered. Okay, that's all you need. So back to the dashboard side. For this to communicate, it's just a simplex frequency. There's no tones or anything like that. You have to have the uh, mode set here as DN, so it's digital narrow, and the TX00 and RX00 above it, 00. zero. It's pretty, it's default how the radio comes. What that means is it's going to communicate simplex with my hotspot. Um, we're going to do a quick demo here of connecting. So, so the, the first thing you do is a long press of the GMX button to get the X on the screen and it will ping a bit of data up to the network. There it goes and it will bring some information back. At this moment in time, forget about that flashing on and off. What you would want to do is connect to a room and to find a room you'd hit search and direct and then these C1 through 5 are preset memories in the radio that you've already you've already found a room and you've saved it so they're shortcuts for the future but let's uh, let's show you we go all and it will bring back uh, the first 10 or so rooms and you can just press the down arrow to grab the next 10 etc etc there are a lot of them so <laughs> if you know perhaps the room name you're looking for uh, you can enter that by doing if you know the name you're looking for you can enter that by doing search and direct and then uh, keying in a bit like you used to do on the 90s cell phone sending a text so um, what can we do? America. A M E R I. I'll just do America and see what happens. And hit the button there that says ENT. Enter. Pings it up to the network. Something comes back. So various groups with the word America in, you can see. So it's a bit like, you know, just a, a search engine. Again, press down arrows to get some more. No, there aren't no more, that's it. That's all that has America in it. So we could select one. Um, so say, uh, I say the one that's currently highlighted, it says US North A DVS switch. So it confirms it comes back with a little connected message on the screen. At this stage you can do any of these things if you want to, but most people just tap the back button once and you're there. So the bit of said that's tackle later the flashing on and off bit <laughs> this is what was flashing on and off before but at the moment this is this is a correct screen for if you want to talk on that uh, room it shows my call sign dash nd it's got that information from the hotspot it's basically saying i'm using the hotspot as a node and there's the hotspot um, ssid for want of a better word yeah search and direct still on the screen in case you want to use it and North America is displayed there and it's not flashing this means you are connected to it if there is nothing in that bottom box or it's flashing on and off it shows you are not connected so now we can just uh, sit and wait for some traffic um, 
or we can transmit ourselves on there and hopefully talk to somebody but ideally there, there will be some traffic come through you know you'll hear a call sign or whatever let's let's see if that happens okay let's go over to um, America link so quick demo we we'll disconnect to disconnect you've got to press and hold the band button I know obvious eh? and it will chuck back a disconnected message it says not connected there okay and you see that's flashing so that shows that that was the room that you were at but you're not connected so this time I'm going to go back into my memories and select America link that I already found and I saved that in C2 okay now I'm going to tap that America link Romeo India Sierra and my QTH is the Upper West Side of Manhattan in New York City. Back to you. I had to press the back button once there just to get to this uh, main screen. Here, uh, now now you can see the call like signs uh, involved. And of course you can monitor it on the dashboard but if you're out on the road it's quite You, here we're monitoring it on the dashboard but if you're out on the roads um, it's quite easy just straight through the radio it's very uh, simple to use and uh, just remember that if you want to disconnect you can't disconnect while the blue lights on and it's receiving because the hotspot won't hear you because currently the hotspot is transmitting to the radio so we wait for these guys to finish I just caught it in the gap there where the uh, hotspot wasn't transmitting their, their audio and there we are disconnected again it's flashing on and off showing you it's disconnected it's as simple as that hope you enjoyed the video so this video if you like it or video comment down below a thumbs up thanks for watching va3si bye